Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today we're in part two of a video series on the Hisense L5 series ultra short throw projector. So in this video, we're gonna be unboxing as well as installing the 100 inch ambient light rejection screen. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I wanna give a big thanks to Hisense for sponsoring this series. All right, so the first thing you need is a large area because this is a 100 inch screen. So we've just got a big open area right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this unboxed. All right, so once you unbox it, I can already see that everything is nice and labeled. So down here we've got H and A and M and B. And so that's going to correspond to the instruction manual, which will be a, a extremely helpful. So we can see pretty much just in a nutshell, this is going to be the back frame, like the support of the frame. We've got the two small side pieces. These are gonna be the two long pieces our fabric inside here in this tube, and then way down here is our mounting hardware. So we'll go ahead and get this laid out on the ground and we'll start assembling. Now before you start assembling, my recommendation would be to leave these covers on until you actually need them, and that way it'll make it easier to find them. I've got all of the hardware laid out here. Over on this side is going to be our mounting hardware for the install when we mount it up against the wall. And you're also going to need just a few tools. You're gonna to need a hammer, a screwdriver or a cordless screwdriver, tape measure, stud finder, some tape, and then hopefully you've got a larger level than we do, but this is what we've got to work with at this point. All right, so the first four pieces we're gonna to need to gather is A, B, C, and D. So these are gonna be your long um, interior frame, the short interior frame, and then the kind of like the elbow brackets and the joint to assemble those together. Okay, so here we're going to assemble one corner and I'm just gonna demonstrate one corner and then I'll go ahead and do the other three corners off camera. But over here we have the long top piece and then this is going to be the short right side. So we're gonna take one of the longer corners, so this is D, and we're gonna slide it right in this little track here. And then we're gonna take one of these C and slide it into this bottom track here like this. And then what we need to do is just line it up right here and right here, just like that. All right, so when you're assembling these, make sure that these little notches here, there's like a little bump, as you can see over here, it's flush. You wanna make sure that those are facing up and you can see right here, they're going to align with these holes and along with that hole. So as you can see here, when that goes in, this little bump is going to fit in that hole and that one is going to fit in that hole right there. Okay, so this is the third screen that I have assembled on my channel. And one thing that I really, really appreciate is the fact that these little corner pieces have those notches. And the purpose for that is when you're putting this together, as you can see, it kind of locks them in place. It's not permanent. You can still pull it apart because we're gonna screw these in, but it also already aligns all the screws which makes it really, really easy to assemble. Okay, next make sure that your corners are all square and aligned, and then we're going to need six of these E screws. And so I'm just gonna show you where we're gonna put them. We're gonna put two here, two here, and then there's one here and one underneath here. And that'll hold each one of those L brackets in place. Next, we're gonna find the brace that's labeled O, and we're just going to slide it into position like this right here. And you can see there's two screw holes here. Make sure those are facing up. We're gonna slide that right into place and we're going to use two screws on this side, two screws on the other side, and those are labeled in. All right, so now you should have your frame assembled as well as the center brace. We're gonna lay that off to the side because the next step, we're going to be installing the screen. All right, so the next things you're going to need, number one, you're gonna to need to place on the white gloves. Now, Hisense has included four pairs of these, so if you got some extra friends to help you, they've got enough to equip for them as well. And it's real important that you wear these because we found out the hard way on previous installations, the oil from your fingertips can get on the, uh, on the screen and it actually can um, stay there for quite a long time and it's difficult to get off. So make sure you use the gloves, lay down this plastic piece here over your surface, and then we're going to pull the fabric out of this tube here. 
Now I'd recommend getting a friend to help you unroll this. You want to be really, really careful when you're unrolling this and handling it because this fabric is pretty delicate. You can bend it, you can crease it, and you can certainly puncture it. So just be really, really careful handling that. We're going to get this laid out across this fabric here or across this um, tarp, and then we'll go ahead and go to the next step. So now get a friend to hold down this while you unroll it just really carefully. And you're going to notice something. I really like how they've done this. Again, this is something different than previous screens that I've assembled, is they've included this protective white piece that actually is going to help protect this fabric. So that's actually a second layer of protection on top of this plastic. So we're just gonna unroll this really slowly. And another thing I can already see is they've already got kind of like these little grommets, which is where we'll insert the screws to attach it to the frame. And so that's another positive that I see as well. All right, the next step you wanna do is take your frame and we're going to lay the frame with the smooth side down on top of the fabric. And so one thing you wanna do is carefully lay it to where each one of the four corners is hanging off of the fabric. So the next thing we need to do is attach the fabric to the frame itself. And so on each side of the frame, you can see they've already attached and kind of secured the um, springs. And so we're just going to remove those. So what's cool is they've given you the exact amount for each side. So you can see there's a set of springs there. Then on this long one, there's a set right there. And then all the way around, there's another set there and another set there. So we'll get those removed and lay those off to the side. All right, guys, I just wanna pause for a second. Um, as I mentioned before, this is my third screen that I've assembled, and I'm just seeing a lot of small, really great design choices when they um, built this and when they kind of figured out how they wanted to put this together. So check this out. All of these screws are already halfway in place. On previous ones, you actually had all of these separate, and so you'd have to attach them to the frame manually and then pull that around the fabric. So all of the actual screws or the uh, springs for each one of these are going to be kind of partially assembled. So we're just going to separate these. And the great thing again, they've got grommets so you know exactly where you need to attach them. And so we're just gonna slide those down into place. And then once we get all of them where we need them to be, then we're going to take these little hooks here. And so that's where your finger will go in. It'll allow you to reach down and grab the spring and pull it into that grommet. All right, so I've gone around all four sides and you can see I've just spaced out each one of the springs. Now I do notice that on each side there's an extra spring. So I'm not sure if that's included in case one of them breaks or if later on in the process we're going to be attaching those. But for now, I just wanted to get those spaced out and then we'll look at the order in which we're going to attach each spring. So the next step is to begin to attach each spring to the fabric itself. So if we look in the manual on page seven, you'll see a specific diagram that shows you the exact order that you need to take in installing each set of springs. So you're going to need to have somebody to help you with this and include it in the packet are two little spring devices. So if you look over at the far left of this diagram, you will see position number one. There's one at the top as well as one at the bottom. So you're going to need to be on one side of the screen where it says one at the top and then have somebody else on the opposite side of the screen where it says one. And at the same time, you're going to use the little hook to attach those sides of the fabric. Once you attach one, both of you at the same time will need to move to position two and attach that set of springs. Continue around the fabric going to three, then four, five, six, seven, and finally in position eight. All right, so we're already on number five and six, but I just wanna take this and show you. So take this little hook and you just wrap it right under here like this. Position this right across from the grommet fold this over and you're going to just pull and allow that to connect inside that grommet just like that. And then once again, we'll go to the next one, which is right here. 
and then on three, both of you are pulling at the same time. Just like that. So at this point, you should have four springs attached in each corner. So we've got one here, one there, one there, and one there. And just make sure that the corner here is hanging over the fabric just a little bit. So now that you've got the four corners attached, you're going to want to move to the center. So right here where this brace is, we're going to attach that spring there. And at the same time, you're going to have somebody attach the spring on the opposite side. So the instructions at this point aren't real uh, specific. So our plan is to move over one and attach there and there. And then we're going to go, come back over to the opposite side and attach a, a spring there and a spring here. And then again, we'll move over to the second one, attach there and there, move over here to the second one, attach there and there. And that way we're working from the center out in both directions at the same time. Okay, so now we have all of the springs along the long side here on the bottom and all of the springs on the top side. So the next step is do the same process on the ends. So we'll start here in the middle. We'll do one there and at the same time, one down here. Then we'll move down one and attach there and at the same time, attach over here and then move to the opposite side, attach there and so forth until we get all of those springs attached. Okay, so here we have the screen assembled. So one thing I wanna show you is uh, part of what makes this screen so unique. This is called an ambient light rejection screen. And so it's not a flat surface. So here you can see looking straight on, it looks kind of gray. Looking from the top, look at it. It starts to turn black because it's rejecting the light that's coming from above the screen. And if you think about it, with an ultra short throw, the projector is going to be down here at the bottom. And so if it's at the bottom facing up, you can see that's like a white reflection. So it's going to reflect the light coming from the bottom and reject any light coming from the top. Now we've got the screen laid back down. And so here you can see we've got the four pieces laid out. Now this is your outer frame. So there'll be two pieces called or labeled L. So that's the top and the bottom. And then M will be the, the right side as well as the left side. These are the outer frame. And then you're also going to need N and P. So one thing you need to make sure is right here you can see this says downside. So this is the bottom of the screen. You want to find the L that has the label here and that's going to go on this part, and then the other one is going to go on the top part. Okay, so this is the short side, and right in here you can see there's a little channel, a little groove, and so that's where the actual frame is going to slide in. So you're going to need to get you and somebody else to lift up the screen together like this, and we're going to just really gently, again, you wanna be as gentle as you can with this, but it's going to be a pretty tight fit, just like that. Just make sure your edges are lined up and you can see right here where the hole is, that's where we're going to be attaching the screw. Okay, so now we have all four of the outer frames installed. Now one thing that we found is as we um, try to put this together, the instructions say to install each one of those, but instead of screwing in, you're going to take these P brackets, these little L corners, and put those on first but we could not get that to line up. And so what we had to do, stand it up on its side. And on two occasions, we just had to tap it just ever so slightly with the rubber mallet to get it to go onto the frame itself. And so once that was aligned, we'd put one screw on the outside, one screw on the other outside, and then we proceeded all the way around. Once we got all four sides, then we added the additional screws. All right, so the next step, we're gonna take the L brackets. They're labeled P in the bag, and we're gonna place them on each of these corners like this. And then we'll just take our screws, which are labeled N, and secure those. So I'll go ahead and secure all four of these corners, and we'll go to the next step.
All right, guys, we finished assembling this projection screen and I've got definitely a couple of comments to make on this. Number one, I love the fact that this is really super light. Now it's very durable, but it is made of a thin brushed aluminum. And so it's got this beautiful, gorgeous finish right here. So I definitely like that. It does have a little bit thicker kind of bezel, um, you know, around the edge than the other two screens, but it's definitely pretty minimalistic around the outside. Another thing that I really appreciate that Hisense did was they pre-installed the springs and then they also have matching grommets so you know exactly where to line those up. On a lot of other screens, you just kind of have to guess or kind of imagine or maybe even measure to figure out where they need to be placed. The instructions were super simple to follow, especially considering they had everything labeled. And so that just made it easy to say, okay, I need the, the screws from bag A and then I need the sides that are labeled L. And that just made it really easy to follow in the instructions. Now I'll post links down in the description below to the L5 Laser TV and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'll be producing another video on how to install this and set the projector up. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.